Hi guys, in this video we are covering how to sign in through a website, specifically Google here. So this authentication from Google is usually OAuth2 authentication. If you find out then OAuth2 is a industry recognized protocol that uh, is being used everywhere like Facebook, Google, everywhere. Kerberos authentication. They all use OAuth2 authentication. So there, there is no need of password. You meet someone, you tell that yes, this is my user ID and this is my password. But the password is wrong. Just an example. So he tells no, you are not allowed. You again go. He said no, this password is also wrong boss. Then someone third person who is known to that person comes to him that boss I know he's this guy he is the same guy so that person that gatekeeper lets you in correct this is how it happens right similar is the case here for OAuth2 Google says and say boss I know this person let him in similar is with Kerberos Facebook and all so for Google sign in at technical level we have to it's it's quite easy Google has made it everything very easy and ready to be consum consumed so here you can see just search Google sign in for website it will direct you to one page when we open this page it directly gives you the code right so from HTML till HTML all the code is there just copy it that's it copy it to your uh, one of the files make it google sign.html anything any name you keep and just save it because it is uh, a javascript uh, used code so there's no need of any special compiler like php or something S direct direct html will work here only catch here if you can see is your client id so you have to provide your client id and as well as you have to create your client id in google platform itself so when you come here you see developers.google.com and now they have other one called console.developers.google.com so uh, the coding part you copied the code from there and put it in your notepad plus plus or anywhere of your editor of your choice so when you write console.developers.google.com you are uh, redirected to a page sorry i'm using different user for this so i'll open that one so here you have to specify the project the project name that you are using so here this this is the api and services console that uh, google provides here you have dashboards you need not to do anything here it will just display the contents library you have to select the libraries here so go for Google plus library okay Google plus API and then uh, you have to enable it I have already enabled it so it is coming as API enabled now next part is go to back from where we started and then we have to go to this credentials part so for this credentials part it will come to this project I have already selected the project here this is Kumar Abhishek and ID so I have pre-generated it if you have not generated the step is once you go here they will ask you for name right and once you provide the name they generate your client ID so this is the client ID that Google generates for you and this you have to put here uh, Google sign in client ID so the same string that is here we will be putting it here that's it that is the code part and the code part is done now one part is remaining and that part is configuration part over here API key not needed here we are only using authorization through client ID so here you have to put your uh, origin host name 
I have uh, put this code on mudiction.com that is our uh, that is my uh, host so I, we, you have to specify that this without this you cannot do anything so this is the only thing that you have to make here nothing else uh, here you need not to write anything you can leave everything optional uh, just email ID and all uh, privacy policy URL yes you have to give you can give local host ID as well anything you can like it's not of uh, much uh, use here uh, but yes get, uh, these two things once you generate using uh, some name that you give you get your client ID and on this page you have to specify this thing origin origin data so once you do you have to put your code somewhere on the uh, on some server web server it is very important friends if we are saving this as HTML we expect that as we put this code directly on web server it will work but it doesn't it will work only if you are putting it on some server it can be a local host I tried it on local host so if you have lamp server for PHP just put it inside HT docs and then you can check it inside local host it works uh, in that case here you have to change it to localhost that's it that is the only change http colon double slash localhost and you are done without that if you don't do if you don't put it there then in that case it will not show anything something like this i, I have hosted it on mutation.com and then uh, inside this folder glog in glogin test and then this this uh, HTML Google sign in dot sign dot HTML so it is showing you a button here right this button if you don't put inside a web server you will not be able to, able to see this button also it will be a blank page so uh, you need to put it on a web server number one you need to configure it inside OAuth client and you have to put this origin this is very important once you put it you uh, you have to if you have like uh, configured it right now you have to wait for half an hour at least I saw uh, initially it was not working for me it was giving me the error that uh, uh, domain name is uh, not specified origin domain name um, origin domain name is this one this one is not specified but in half an hour it got refreshed and it was automatically logging in after that so if you see the code what is what should be the output you gave the client ID right Google API it automatically picked up the JS from uh, public resource then inside this div on successful this was shown right now now what now this is the work of JavaScript once you are signed in a Google user is uh, is uh, object is returned right so on sign in on success on sign in it came and it has an object of Google user so Google user has the basic profile uh, features like profile ID profile name so all those we are printing on console log so where you can see now we are on Google sign in dot where we have our uh, host so it first went and it automatically signed me in if you can see I will hit again so it is sign in and then signed in so it automatically signed me in so when I click on this it shows me which user you want to sign I want to sign in through simple brains so now I'm signed in again and now I have to go to um, developer console developer tools control shift I so okay so now we are here when we signed in it gave us these informations as we have put it on console.log it is showing here at console.log and inside console I can see yes it, re it returned ID it returned uh, full name given name family name image URL if you see this image you can use it directly so if I put it here it says no internet connection I did something with my connection yeah aeroplane mode is off off okay Wi-Fi connecting connected okay so still it is not coming okay now you can see this being displayed right uh, email it gave and ID token it gave so Google is returning everything now once it is in your code you can put it you can push it back anywhere you can use as per your requirement
this is how you log in through uh, Google APIs. We'll be coming back with uh, Facebook login, Twitter login, and other stuffs that is required to make uh, uh, the website uh, development easier and simpler. So subscribe to us and keep watching Simple Brains. Thank you.